So I just, uh, I just flew down here today, actually, this morning. I'm a little jet lagged. I did just get back from Korea. I flew down from Vancouver this morning, though. I flew down on an airline that I actually work for. I have a part-time job uh, as a flight attendant. And uh, it's not really the most manly of gigs, is it? It's not. I remember when I was, for, it was one of, the, by the way, one of those airlines that, that still does the safety demonstration where the flight attendants get up and still act it out. Not many do that anymore. My airline does that. And when I was first starting out with the company, I was so self-conscious of what everyone in the cabin would think of me about my orientation. Not that it matters, but you know how guys are. We're self-conscious about that stuff, right? Especially on those Kansas City flights or those like Northern Alberta flights where the manly men are on the flight, like going to do manly jobs, like dig holes and get oil. And I'm standing at the front of the plane wearing a skirt, handing out pretzels. <laughs> that I felt the need to overcompensate during the safety demonstration so everyone would know I was straight. It was exhausting. I'd be like, okay, we have two emergency window exits located mid-cabin over the wings. Two emergency doors at the front, two more at the back. Fasten your seat belt. No, you can't have the whole can. Someone shut that baby up. It was exhausting. I, um... Uh, <clears throat> I hold a Canadian passport as well. I've got these way, way too much of a story to tell in eight minutes, but I'll just give you the details. I do hold a Canadian passport. Something came to my attention recently that blew me away. I realized that the Canadian coat of arms, which is on the front of the passport, makes no sense. Has nothing to do with Canada, tells us nothing about the country. So based on this, I decided to do a little research because I'd never really thought about that too much before. Check out other countries' coat of arms to see if those made sense. For the most part, they do. The American coat of arms. On it, there's an eagle. <laughs> He's got some kind of a shrubbery flying away. Great, we all know America's animal's the eagle. That makes sense. Australia's coat of arms also makes sense. On one side, there's a kangaroo. <laughs> this is my kangaroo Pasadena. I hope you like it. And on the other side, there's an emu. <laughs> that apparently looks like Mick Jagger. <laughs> Great, that makes sense. In Australia, we have both kangaroos and emus. Canada's coat of arms, not a word of a lie. I kid you not, on one side, there's a lion! For Canada, a lion with a mane. And on the other side, folks, there's a unicorn. <laughs> a mythical beast! The only thing that tells me about Canada is that there's a lot of weed there. Because if you want to smoke weed, you're going to go to the country with the mythological winged flying horned horse on that country's coat of arms, not to mention the African lion. It's ridiculous. 